We've known about Marfan syndrome since, what, 1896, when Antoine Marfan originally described the syndrome. In about the 1950s, 1960s, um, the, the, uh, Dr. McCusick and other people figured out exactly what the, the complications were for Marfan syndrome, including the very important complication of the aortic um, aneurysms and dissection predisposition. And, but we didn't know anything about the genetics of people with the, the thoracic aortic aneurysms and dissection that didn't have Marfan syndrome until about 12 years ago. And that's when um, um, uh, my group and another group at Yale, led by Dr. Eleftheriades, um, uh, just did a very simple clinical question, clinical study where we asked people that didn't have Marfan syndrome but came to the hospital with thoracic aortic aneurysms or dissection, do you have a first degree relative who's affected? And that's how we figured out that 20% of those, of those um, patients had a family history of the disease. And then when we looked further, we figured out was how it was inherited. And typically it's inherited in the same way that Marfan syndrome inherited, which is an autosomal dominant manner. An individual with the Marfan syndrome has this 50-50 risk for passing it on to the children. And so in the inherited risk in people without Marfan syndrome is the same, that same 50-50 risk of passing it on to the next generation, to the to the to their children. And then after we figured out that there was this strong genetic predisposition and how it was inherited, we've started to identify the genes. And really, we started to look for genes. At this, the same time we started looking for genes, the Human Genome Project was done, and then the technology has just gotten better and better. And now we can do is sequence all the DNA in um, that in that an individual has looking for the specific change that causes the disease in families. So we've been slowly identifying genes, but I think the rate that we identify genes for the familial thoracic aortic disease uh, families will increase very rapidly in the next five years. For both Marfan syndrome and familial thoracic aortic aneurysms and dissections, the, the tax Payers dollars go to fund research in this area, and that research comes primarily through the National Institute of Health, and they have put um, millions of dollars into both Marfan syndrome and um, familial thoracic aortic disease. But at the same time, if you look at how much they're putting into research in in these conditions compared with breast cancer and prostate cancer and other diseases, um, they're, they're putting in a fraction what they put into these other diseases. But if you look at the population level, at, at the population, um, you know, is the number of people that die of aortic dissections is um, more than die of prostate cancer. So I still think this area of funding is, uh, the area of research um, is underfunded by the NIH, and we really need a voice to push the NIH to increase funding for Marfan patients and other p individuals with thoracic aortic disease.